Hi guys, it's Brian again. Um, this is going to be my review on Samsung's W10M86DQ00 washing machine. Right, um, I've had it now about three weeks. Um, and I'm going to be telling you my likes and dislikes uh, about the washing machine. Uh, so I'll get started and uh, basically let you know what I think, basically. So um, as you can see, it's um, one of Samsung's new washing machines uh, with the AdWash uh, facility. Right, so basically this is the... Um, add wash door so basically to use the door you just push it in and as you can see the door opens um you can then add whatever you want um into the drum um and then basically you actually close the door um and uh it just clicks back into place uh to actually use the door right uh, the cycle has to be below 50 degrees, right? If it's above 50 degrees, um, you won't be, be able to actually use the door. So I assume that's just basically because of um, health and safety reasons, I assume. Right. Um, it, sorry. Um, it's got um, the um, auto dispense uh, facility um, here. So you can see that it auto dispenses the detergent and auto uh, dispenses the uh, fabric softener. Um, it's got Samsung's um, auto optimal uh, feature here. Um, so basically what that means is um, what it will actually do is when you put your clothes into the machine, um, what it will do is... Um, um, when you put your clothes in, um, it will actually uh, do a revolution of uh, the drum. Um, and then it will uh, sense uh, the, uh, the load of the clothes, right? Um, and how soiled the clothes are. Um, and then it will actually work out how um, dirty uh, the clothes are. Right, um, and then from its detections, right, um, it will dispense the detergent and it will work out how, um, how long the cycle needs to be, right, um, and what the best cycle is for the clothes um, um, or the garments uh, that you've put into the machine. Um, and then uh, near to the end of the cycle, right, or near to the end of the wash cycle, right, um, it will sense the water, right, um, um, or sorry, near to the end of the, 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 the actual, um, near to the end uh, of the wash cycle, right? Um, once it's washed, it's done a wash cycle and it's, and it's emptied the water and whatever, right? Um, near to when it's completing the cycle, right? Um, it will sense how dirty the water is, right? And if necessary, um, it will uh, then dispense some more detergent, basically. Um, so it will basically do another wash cycle, basically, uh, if it thinks that the clothes are still dirty, basically. Um, so it basically uh, thinks for itself. Um, uh, so that's the auto optimal. Um, that's the auto optimal um, uh, cycle. Um, the best thing about this as well um, is that it's got Samsung's uh, quick drive uh, technology. So basically, um, it's got a back plate at the back of the machine. So where <clears throat> the drum 
um, revolves in this direction uh, clockwise the back plates will revolve in the in the anti-clockwise direction um, so it basically means um, that it will wash your clothes um, in half the time that a normal conventional washing machine um, will take to wash your clothes basically um, and I can actually say that that is true basically because um, I had um, the older washing machine to this I think if you've seen uh, the videos that I did um, to that machine um, that I did a couple of years ago uh, and put on YouTube it was the uh, WW9000 washing machine with eco bubble and um, I, I explained to you briefly what happened to that machine uh, that machine had the design fault and the auto dispenser unit um, if you remember on this machine sorry if I just quickly explain the auto dispenser unit on this machine the auto dispenser unit is here um, this is your detergent this is your fabric softener right well on that machine the auto dispenser unit was here um and you had a, you had a drawer that you actually pulled out and you had it was a cartridge that you pulled out and you you put the the fabric softener and the detergent into that into that cartridge and then you put the cartridge back into the machine right well what happened is if you ever saw uh, Samsung's adverts for that machine back in 2014 when that machine came out, uh, Samsung boasted that basically you could fill that machine up with fabric softener and detergent um, and you could just leave it basically um, and the machine would basically dispense it when it needs it and you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to keep on topping it up with fabric softener and detergent like you would with a conventional machine, right? Well, that's what I did with my machine. And basically, because I'm a single person and I don't use my machine that often, um, basically, there was a design fault on that machine, right? Um, and if you're basically a family, right, where with a family, your washing machine goes on about two or three times a day, every day, which is okay, basically. But if you're a single person or a couple where your washing machine only goes on, say, once or once a week or twice a week, then basically what happens is the weight of the detergent um, at the bottom of that auto dispense unit, there were rubber cups, rubber suction cups at the bottom, and basically what the weight of the detergent presses down on them rubber cups, right? Um, the, and there was like a um, there was like a, a washer basically in the in them in them um, in them joints at the bottom, um, and the the weight of the detergent presses down um, on uh, them rubber seals, um, basically screws them, and it leaks down into the uh, auto dispense unit at the bottom uh, and basically basically cut a long story short it knackers the auto dispense unit basically um, and that's what happened to my machine it basically knackered the auto dispense unit um, and um, basically um, domestic in general who was my insurance company had to write the machine off so basically they replaced it with this machine um, so um, if I can just say, right, I was very reluctant to actually get my machine replaced with this one because uh, the WW9000 was all computerised. It was all computerised. It was all touchscreen and everything. Whereas you can see, this one isn't. It's not touchscreen, right? Um, and it's got a big, massive, ugly dial on the front of it, basically, whereas... Uh, the WW9000 hasn't got a dial. All this is all touchscreen, right? And it's all computerized and everything. 
So when Samsung came out, uh, what they actually says to me was that um, I asked them which is the better machine and what he actually says to me is that uh, this one uh, he says is the better machine because he says with the WW9000 he says that that one was all computerized right where he says with this one it's all me mechanical Right, so he says with the WW9000, he said there was a lot more that could go wrong with that machine, right? Whereas with this one, because it's all gravity fed and it's mechanical, there's a lot less stuff to go wrong with it, right? Um, and um, since I've had this machine, I must say that I'm a bit, I'm more impressed with this machine. There's a lot more uh, features on this machine right um um and i'm a lot more impressed with it basically so i'll i'll basically go on and i'll explain um the features on this machine to to actually tell you why i'm more impressed with this machine basically um so what i'll do is i'll um i'll end this video now i'll come back and i'll um we'll go into the review now basically to actually let you know um what this machine can actually do and it's really impressive what this um uh machine can actually do but just before i go right um what i've actually seen right um i've seen some negative reviews on this machine right basically saying that the quick drive plate at the back uh rips your clothes right um and the ad wash draw and the ad wash door uh leaks right um what i would say is a load of rubbish basically it doesn't um and my um my one right um as it says i've had it and it, it's never leaked basically um what you have to do is um as it says you you push the button in right and you actually make sure that the door shuts and in, and in fact if the door starts shut basically because what you have to do is um when you actually start the machine right um the ad wash door is locked right and then what you have to do is i'll actually show you this one one in the next video i do basically what you have to do is to use the ad wash door, you have to press the pause button basically, and then it will release the lock and it will release the lock and the ad wash door because you'll actually hear you'll actually hear a sliding noise basically. Once you press the pause button, that will release the lock on the ad wash door basically. And then um that will actually allow you then to open the ad wash door, right? And uh, to put your clothes in and do whatever you want to do with the ad wash door, right? Um, and then once you've actually done what you want to do with the ad wash door, you can't actually start the machine again until you've actually, until you've actually, you hear it then, until you've actually locked that ad wash door, and then it will actually allow you then to actually start the machine again. So once you've actually pushed it in and locked the ad wash door, then that's, um, then that's fine then. You, you've, you've actually created that seal around the ad wash door now regarding the actually uh the back plate the the quick drive place at the back of the door um i've put clothes i've put jeans i've put t-shirts i've put everything in um um and i haven't um I, I, it hasn't ripped any of my clothes or it hasn't damaged. I put socks in, I put everything in and it hasn't damaged any of my clothes at all. Now, um, I read one, one uh, review. Obviously, it must have been a female because she says that she put, um, uh, she put some bras into the, into, um, into the washing machine and it damaged her bras. <laughs> I don't wear bras, so I can't comment on that. And I'm a single man, uh, so I, I haven't got a girlfriend. So, unfortunately, I can't comment on that, basically. But what Samsung do say is that they'll give you a list of items 
that may um, not be compatible uh, with the um, quick dry place and what they tell you to do is to use a laundry bag uh, for them items so if you follow Samsung's instructions and use a laundry bag for them items then you should be fine basically but what I'm going to do I'm going to wrap this video up now and then I'm going to come back and do the review on the machine and see how we go basically okay bye for now